Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Statistics is the art of maths. It allows us to see what numbers look like and helps us figure out what they mean. And values like the measures of central tendency help us represent an entire set of data with just a single value. In this video, we learn about one such measure of central tendency, the median. To understand what the median is, let's take a look at an example. So say you want to find out the average of how much pocket money your friends get each month. Obviously, because we all like to compare. So to find the average, we use something called the mean. To calculate the mean value of pocket money, you'd have to add up all the values and divide by the total number of values. So the mean for this set of numbers is 268. Now, this value is a good representative of all the values in the set because it lies more or less in the middle, right? But what if we added one more number that was very different from the remaining numbers? Just by adding one such number, the value of the mean changes completely. Now, the new mean doesn't give us a good representation of all the values in the data set. Most of the values, as you can see, are much smaller than 440. So when a data set has numbers which are very different from the remaining numbers in the set, a better representation is given by something called the median. This is the measure of central tendency that gives the middlemost value of a data set and it divides the data set into two equal halves. For example, the median of the numbers 3 to 7 would be the number 5. Let's look at another example to understand how the median of a data set can be found. So say we have the ages of 5 people. First, we have to arrange the values in either ascending order or descending order. Now, you just look at the middlemost value of the data set and that should be your median. Finding the median is easy when you have an odd number of values like this, right? But what if you have an even number of values? To find the median of an even set of data, we take the two middle values and find their average or mean. This will then be the median of the data set. So mathematically, when the number of observations is odd, the median is the middlemost value. And when the number of observations is even, the median is given by the average of the two middle values. Now calculating the median is easy when the data set is small. But what happens when you have a large number of values? Finding the median would take a lot of time. So the median is a good representation of data sets that are small and that contain values that are outliers. To test if you understood what the median is and how to calculate it, try solving this question. <laughs> 